Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today, we are going to be making a sky dome, which is basically just a sphere like that, texture on it, and it is also, um, the normals are swapped, so when you're inside of it, you're pretty much just living in a dome. We're also making it rotate a little bit, so it looks like that, here it looks like this, and then if we go inside of the game, we have this kind of effect going on as well, and um, it's not going to look as bad as soon as we have a floor. But guys, that is what we're going to be doing today, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so we're going to be going really fast this episode, because it's quite some simple stuff we're going to be doing. Um, but we're going to use... We're going to use the model we make, and also the texture we make in a clever way to make it look good. So... Here is what we do. We are going to create the most complex model you have ever seen. So I remade a new scene, a clean scene, and I've saved it under the name Sky Dome, and it's saved under the uh, model folder, you know, pretty much just the place where uh, we save our models, which is right here. We have the hub scene, and we also have the Sky Dome now. Alright, so, um, yeah, let's go ahead and make the most complicated model. We're gonna hit Shift A, and get a UV sphere, that would be good. And here it is. So what we're going to do with that is uh, go inside of edit mode. We are going to make sure that this thing here, the very top vertex, if I can select it, this guy, is selected. And then we swap around like this. We go down, hold shift, and also select this one. Now press X, and we are going to remove the vertex. And um, yeah, that's it. I think that's, that's our model right there. So uh, what we're also going to do is just select one face, any face. And also something else we're going to do is go in edges selection, select edges, and then um, hold alt, select one of these long edges, then control E and mark seam. And now before we unwrap this, we're just going to move it in the center, just make sure everything is center basically. So let me just find out how to do that. Um, I am going to go up here and just say that, well first, go in object mode and try to move it to zero, zero, zero. So. My options are hidden right here. And there we go. Now, now it's actually centered. We can go back here, edit mode. Now with the whole thing selected, I'm going to press U and do a sphere projection. And here is what we end up with. So um, it's kind of a mess and we're going to have to find out how to fix this. So let's actually just use an other alignment. We're going to view on objects, so align with objects. And I think that's actually going to do it. So something like that. And uh, we can then put our, our file in there. Of course, you might want to be scaling this a little bit in the Y axis so it fills the whole thing, something like that. And now you could just be putting a picture on top of this and it would wrap perfectly around the, um, the sphere. So that's what we are going to be doing in a moment. But let's go ahead and just save this and export it to our project. So up here in, um, in file, I'm going to make sure that this is saved in my folder uh, just next to the hub scene. So save that, and then also export to FBX. So we're going to go inside of our asset folder, artwork, and this is going to be the skydome.fbx. We can now go inside of Unity, and it should be right here. So I'll drag and drop it right in the middle of the world, and here it is. Now we can actually go ahead and just scale this up to have something of the sort. And I forgot the most important thing with that is uh, when you're actually inside, you're never going to be seeing anything. And that is because our um, our normals are not flipped. So we need to go back inside of Blender for a moment under Edit Mode. Then I'm just going to select everything by double tapping A, then Control E. And uh, where is the flip normals? I think it's actually W. Yeah, press W and then flip normals. Save this again. We have to re-export it. And this way, it should actually be inside out, and our lighting is working. So we end up with something of the sort, which is going to look good um, in the game, and also in the hub scene. We can make it look good a bit. Just to give you an example, we're going to be just putting any texture on that, really, at the moment. So let's go ahead and just try and put dot. And it should actually be fine. And that is the lighting, that's why it does that. And as you can tell, we just rotate around this thing and it can be our skybox. Now, obviously, this is not going to be our skybox. And also, we, want, we might want to be uh, smoothing these. So if we, again, go back inside of this, if 
quickly go back inside of Blender, go under Shading and UVs, I pretty much just select all my faces here and I'm going to click on Smooth for one of the faces like that and we just um, smoothed our model. It's going to look really, well, more smooth basically. It's going to look a lot better for a skybox or sky dome. So um, let's go back inside of Unity and here it is. Now it pretty much just fix what we had as a problem. Now the only thing we're really missing is just a texture um, that would actually work with that, duplicating that instead of the game scene, this scene. So whenever we play, we should have these things rotating. Alright, so um, let's go in the preloader really quick. I just want to have a look at this inside of the game. So that's fine, yep, 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 yep. And now let's go inside. And that could work. This could be actually a little bit bigger here. And also with proper lighting, that'd be great. Or what we could do is actually have another material, and that's what we should do right now, actually. We're going to go under Artwork. And I'm just going to delete this material folder. This was the one that was um, created with, with importing models. And I'm going to right click create a material. This is the skybox background, I guess. And let's actually just put uh, a default checker for now, which is uh, given by Unity. Let's put it like bluish. And now if we go inside of the game, our sky dome, let's apply that skybox background to it and make it just a little bit bigger we can then change that for a unlit texture oh and if we do change it to unlit texture then we can't really have a other color on top of it because um, it's calculated with the lighting so I guess we're simply going to have to create our texture right away now you could be going in Photoshop and make those but I already have some um, that I just fetched from my old projects now I know you guys don't have some, but they're really simple texture and they're just pretty much just place holders. So let me show you what I have right here. And here it is. It's basically just a blue checker like that. No big deal, it's a placeholder art. Now um what I'm gonna do is actually apply that to the on the texture and we're gonna end up with something like this. So this could be a skybox, this could be you drawing mountains and stuff like that, but for me since I really do suck at art and I think we're really like we should get out of this art phase as soon as possible um, I'll be using this checker grid and now we're also going to be putting a really small script on it really quickly and we'll just make it rotate over time so it gives some kind of moving effect which is great I'm going to go ahead and just do rotate skybox and we're, we're gonna double click on it as gonna take like literally just a second to code so let's get started right away we are going to just go in the update uh, we could be making a public float, why, why not? So public float speed it's gonna be default to say 5 5 is too fast, okay 2 2 is still too fast, okay 0 0.5 and we'll do a rotate, not a rotate, we're gonna do a transform dot rotate and we're gonna be rotating on the, which axis is it? it's the up axis, so vector 3 up and yeah, times speed. Something like that. Let's check this out. It should actually crash for the rest, but this should work. And uh, yeah, run axis, my bad. So, hmm. Okay, so let's write with vector 3.forward. Hopefully, this one works. And there we go, so it's vector3.forward, and then whenever the game is working, my camera is actually placed somewhere where <laughs> it makes a little bit more sense. And you know what? We're going to be copying this guy dome. Go in the hub scene, remove the old one, just put the new one in there. And that should actually be it. Let's go ahead and just play that. Okay, this is obviously a little bit too fast, but that's why our um, speed value is public here, so we can modify that to say... 0.1 looks good in this scene, and then we go in the other scene, and this is, whoa, this is really way too fast. Let's go ahead and do 0.1 here as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and modify that in both our code over here and also in the scenes. Because since it's public, it didn't really override the uh, value here, so we have to do that. And we also have one in the game. 
Now, while we're at it, we're going to be taking this guy gnome and putting it inside of the menu scene as well. Because why not? Alright guys, so that should be pretty much it for the skybox. Really simple stuff, but it's going to make things look a lot better. And you know what, for this one, I don't think we should actually have any speed going on because now... Well, I mean, we could have, but let's actually just slow it down because this is going to make people dizzy. Alright, so in this scene, what we'll do is actually bump that up to 0.2. So it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't go, at, I mean, it goes faster, but since our camera is already rotating in that direction, it, it actually looks like it's going um, a little bit slower, which is not going to make me dizzy at this speed, so that's pretty good. Let's go back in the menu, make sure we modify it here. Nah, let's give it a 3, okay. And um, that's going to be pretty much it guys, so that's how we created a really simple sky dome skybox and it's going to change a lot, I believe it's going to change a lot of what we currently have to make it look better. So that is definitely a very good thing and as soon as we have a floor here, you're not going to be able to see the fact you know, that is, it's getting uh, smaller over, over here and um, here they're more stretched. So we're not going to be able to see that when we have a floor going on, which should be really really soon. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please leave me a like, really appreciate that, and um, also leave comments if you have any questions, make sure to check out the Patreon page if you wish to support me with uh, whatever I'm trying to do with the channel, so other than that guys, thanks for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next one.